Hello everyone, welcome to our channel TechSet. Here we will learn about AEM tech space. We also have a blog on Medium for which the link is given in the description box. Please follow us there for more interesting articles. In this video, we will learn about AEM environments, how to set up author and publisher on your local machine. We also look at installing of the sample content and see replication mechanism. Author and publish. Any AEM comprises of these two environments. On author, where you create the content for your website using pages and templates that are available for the project and replicate the content once review is successful. Once the replicated content is in the publisher, this is the client facing environment where end users come and visit your website via this platform. In most of these projects, dispatcher comes in as the aid to enhance the performance of your visitors by caching and load balancing techniques. Let's look at installing AEM. There are two prerequisites that are needed for installing AEM on your machine. One, Java 11 version with all the environment variables set up on your machine. Second, AEM jar, which is Cloud SDK, the recent version of AEM, can be downloaded via an enterprise account that your organization provides on the AEM. Let's see how we can install author and publish. Here is the link for downloading the AEM SDK jar. Since I'm already logged in with my enterprise account, I'm able to see the page open here. Navigate to AEM as a cloud service option. Type in AEM SDK and search for AEM SDK version, which is available recent. This is the latest version of AEM SDK version. Click on it for downloading. Accept the terms. Click on download. Now that the jar download is complete, navigate to the folder where this zip file is downloaded. Extract the zip file and navigate and select the jar file which is inside this folder. Copy the same, create a new folder. Let's say we are installing author right now. Give the folder name as AEM author. Copy paste the jar from the downloaded SDK zip file. The same jar file will be used to create author and publish both the environments. So how do we differentiate between these two using the naming convention of the jar? There is a standard naming convention that are that is to be used to denote these jars. First word being the AEM hyphen. Whether you want this jar to be author or publish hyphen p which is indicating the port 4502 4502 is the standard author port that is used across aem environments where 4503 stands for publisher with this the jar setup is complete for your author how do we start this jar open terminal window from this location if you are on Windows, open the command prompt from the same folder and follow this command to start your jar file. Java space hyphen jar and your jar file. Click enter. Since this is the first time you are installing the environment, it asks you to see reset the password. The standard password format again being the username as admin and password also as admin. Give it a few minutes for the startup process to finish. Since this is the first time, it usually takes few minutes. As soon as the startup is finished on the terminal, you will see that a browser is opened up on your default browser, which is Chrome, and asks you to enter the credentials. As we know, the default username is admin and the password which we are given 
during the setup process admin enter the credentials and you will land on the start page let's go to sites where our website content structure is displayed as you can see there is no sample content that is available right now our sample content which is known as weekend website can be downloaded from adobe releases using this github link for which the link is provided in the description box this is the latest release of weekend project download the all package aem guides weekend.all now that the download is complete let's look at the package place the package in the folder of your choice and let us install this zip package onto our local aem author for which please navigate to crx package manager this console is called package manager within aem space where you can create the packages of your existing content code or any of the root path also install the packages from any other aem instance you can export or import packages from this console let's upload the package that we have downloaded from the aem releases simply click on upload package select the package folder click ok once the package is uploaded install option will be enabled for you click on install install again this will hardly take a minute for the instance to come up with the new sample content that just got installed let us look at the content that is installed on our aem author let's go to sites again and see the weekend website that has come up here this is the website structure you can navigate to any page that you want under any of these folders and edit the content with this your sample content installation is complete with this the author installation is complete let's set up the publish right now using the same jar let's copy create a new folder let's say this as am publish place the jar Remember we said the naming convention is very important to denote the nature of this environment. So since we want this to be publish, we give publish as the keyword here and change the port number to 4503. Now that the naming convention is complete, let's start this jar using the same process that we have done for author. Open the terminal window. If you are on Windows, open the command prompt from this folder. Enter the command and click OK. Again, since this is the very first time the environment is being set up, the password is not defined. Let's give admin and re-enter the password again and wait for a few minutes for it to start. As soon as the startup is complete, it will open a page on your browser with port number 4503 and displays a huge error on the screen. Well, let's not get scared here. This is happening because the content which we have installed on author didn't reach the publisher yet, for which we have to enable the connection between author and publisher. How do we do that? Let's get there. Let us activate or replicate the content and the code using one single package. This is the same package that we have downloaded from Adobe releases. Go to more, click on replicate again, 
it says package is replicated asynchronously in so and so time. So this means our content and the required code for the same has been synced to our local publisher. To test the same, let's say if the page works. And here it is. So you have seen how we can replicate the content from author to publish. That's one way of doing it. Let's explore more ways of replication along with other important features in AEM in upcoming videos. Well, this marks the end of the video for today. Thank you for listening to us. If you like this video, please do share hit a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Also, all the links that have been discussed throughout this video will be available in the description box. Please share your thoughts in the comments and anything interesting for you so that we can know and create videos on the same. Thank you for watching.